So what happens is at the beginning of the game, you would deal the cards out. So the deck is, um, obviously it's 2 through queen, that would be 2 through 12. I decided to forego the bench for now, for the miter stand. I just brought down my folding one. I figure that'll work for the time being because I want to get into some fun projects finally, okay? Um, I got wood for the horse game, so we're going to start that. Uh, and then I'll explain it as we go. Obviously, I picked up a bunch of horses um, off of Amazon because you need 11 horses for the horse race. Um, you'll see I'm going to end up putting them. I had all different sizes I was trying out. I had this size. I had this size. Obviously, I wanted to just drill holes and put little dowels in them so I can use them. Um, you'll see as we get farther in the game. But the bigger ones I think will work better, and I should be able to just fit them. So off the top, um, I bought a couple sheets of these two by two foot by four foot half inch plywood, birch plywood. So I have those cut down already. Um, I think I did 24 by 20 for the side. So this is actually, uh, you'll see it as we go. It's going to be two sides that are going to fold. They're going to have hinges on them and it's going to fold to close the box and then I'll put some handles on it. Um, so you'll see as we go. But those are 24 by 20. Um, I just picked up this 10 foot piece of poplar, uh, you know, from, from Captain Orange Home Depot. Um, I'm going to cut that down to make the sides because uh, I want to have solid sides to because uh, I want to stain them and, and polyurethane I want to make it look decent not going to paint it um, and then on one of these boards um, I'm going to get uh, one of the boards I got to cut down to fit inside of one of these boxes because that's going to actually be the horse race game that's going to have the holes in it and I'll show you as we go this is probably going to be like a two part video or something along those lines um, because it's going to take a little longer to build, but I want to get started on it because it's going to be fun. You're going to love it. And once I explain it, you'll see why it's so addicting to have this game. Um, so I got these two pieces cut. I am going to cut these down on the miter saw, and then I'll run them through the table saw. All right, so I got that 10-footer over here. I want to measure out uh, just over four feet um, to cut this down. I'm just going to cut one chunk off so I can work with it easier. Alright, I'm good to go. Just put my ears on. Alexa, turn on the vacuum. Well, there's the uh, one piece. It's perfect. So i got to cut another one. So that'll cut it down to this. These are double pieces, obviously. So I gotta cut these once more. I just wanna make sure I got the rough edges off there. Um, so I'm gonna measure these out uh, precisely to what I need, and then I'll recut them a little bit longer. Um, just break this piece down in half and then I'll rip these down um, widthwise and then we'll have our eight pieces that we need to make the sides for these. Alright, there's our pieces. I'm going to take them over the table saw now and finish them up. I got the table saw lined up for three and a half inch uh, rip cuts. So I'm going to take these four boards and cut them down, we're going to make it. All right, guys. Well, that's the pieces we need. I'll cut down, give you an option to see how the table saw works. Um, obviously, I keep my hand in here 
Um, a lot of guys use push sticks on there. I'm comfortable with doing it. I've been doing it for a long time. But I still use the push stick for the other side. Just makes it easier. Um, so I got eight pieces that'll build both of our boxes. Um, so what we're gonna do is get the Craig jig up and then uh, we'll put it all together. So that concludes the first half. Uh, I showed you how to get the two boxes. So those are the two halves of the game. And then I have the, uh, this would be the, the game place. All right, I'm gluing the bottoms on it right now for it to sit on inside of one of those boxes. All right guys, all said and done, this is what you end up with. Yeah, put two handles on it, those just screw on. The latches, it's your normal latch that you can get at Big Orange. So you can just open that up. The back side's just two little hinges, if you can see it. So you just open it up, and this is what it looks like. So this is the final product. I painted this at a local shop, as you can see. These are all the horses. You got a card deck, two dice, obviously some quarters if you're going to be using quarters, but you could use anything you wanted. Um, these are the horses, I numbered them, they're going to be numbered 2 through 12. Um, the felt, I just bought it, I think like Joanne Fabrics, and I just bought the Super 77 spray, um, and then all I did was just spray the inside of this box. I taped all this off, this top edge. And then obviously I just stained all this prior, so stain polyurethane to finish the outside. Taped off the edges, sprayed inside here, and then just you can just take uh, your fingers and just roll this felt in to the corners and then trim it all back. So I lost the footage on that, uh, unfortunately. But that's all I did on both sides. Just trimmed down felt and glued it on here, so it's got a nice surface to roll this on. So then what happens is you end up setting the horses, they have, this is the starting gate, the blue line, so you take the numbered horses and you put them in their perspective numbers, just like this. So this was a super fun project, I have to say, uh, once I found out about it. So it goes just like this. So then what, what you have is you have horses 2 through 12, 
um, which corresponds with your dice because you have two through twelve obviously so the way it works out is the uh, I found the um, I'll link it I think there was one on Amazon that was for sale just a simple one but that's how I found the amount of holes because um, the way they have it the seven has more holes because it's an easier number to hit so like the middle numbers are easier because of the combinations where when you get to 12 or double sixes or two double twos uh, it's a lot harder to get so you only have three holes during the race so it only takes three spots for the horse to win it here where it takes like 16 spots for it to get it at number seven and so on and so forth as you go out so what happens is at the beginning of the game you would deal the cards out so the deck is um, obviously it's two through queen that would be two through twelve so you shuffle that up you're going to deal out the cards to whoever's playing say four people are playing so you just deal the cards out all the way around until everybody gets till the cards run out so then what happens is each person gets a certain amount of cards and those correspond to the horse numbers so what happens at the beginning is you hold on to those cards the first four people or in this case we only have four people roll the dice so what you do is you roll a dice six came up six horse moves back and it's taken out of the race okay then you keep going until you know you take out four horses okay so each person would roll there's the 11 horse and the seven horse so those are the four horses that are out of the race now what happens is every time these horses move back you have to pay 25 cents into the pot or whatever you're playing for so when you start the game everybody throws in a quarter to start the game then when you roll the dice say you roll a six six is out of the race so that person that rolled the six has to throw that in oh i forgot before that you go through your cards and you take out whatever horses aren't in the race and you throw those into the pot and then you pay each um, a quarter whatever you're playing for for each one of those cards you threw into the pot so that's what happens then you end up with these cards are the horses you have in the race whatever you have left in your hand so then what happens is you just keep then from that on you just keep rolling the dice anytime one of these scratched horses is hit that person pays into it anytime one of these horses is hit it moves up a spot and you keep going and going until obviously money accumulates in the pot and then one of the horses wins and then when that horse wins you look at your cards and let's say for instance these are your cards let's say the four horse won well you have two fours so you get half the pot since you have two of the four cards of the four horse so then you would win half the whatever's in the pot so that's the premise of it um, it's super fun um, I know it's difficult it's it once you play it a couple times you'll see it, it's really easy to quick to learn but like I said there's an there's definitely more simple versions online that do the same thing um, so you can just get one of those if you want I'll, I'll try to link one in the description but obviously I wanted to build one that was easier now this one ended up being a little heavier than I wanted um, I would have liked it to be a little lighter but I also wanted it to be nice and solid that's why I did it um, this way and then this obviously has a finger hole so I can pull this this whole gameplay out like you saw in, in earlier in the video but that's it you just see the horses I'll see if I could find the link that on Amazon I got these at um, the size of this overall like I said I ended up buying these bottom boards uh, were cut out of a two by four foot piece so I ended up just keeping the length uh, I think 24 inches and then just cutting down the piece I think I did them like 20 inches um, width wise and ended up being nice I think these are inch and a half lanes to get the 12 horses in but you could do any size you wanted it just depends on what you if you want to go smaller horses you could make a smaller board I mean it's just it's all preference so I didn't bother getting into that but like I said, that's it. A couple hinges, some stain and poly. Painted this. Just, I mean, you don't have to paint it. You could just draw lines on it, or just, you know, paint. You know, just do black lines. I just wanted to make it real nice because I was planning on keeping it for a long time. And then obviously, I just got some vinyl stickers for the lettering. So that's it. You need a normal deck of cards, some quarters or dollars or tokens or whatever you want to play with. You know, by all means, I'm not advertising gambling or anything like that. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this interested a couple of you in making it. Um, like I said, it's, I mean, it looks complicated in the video, but it's really not. It's literally just two boxes. Um, you could even just nail these and glue these um, as long as this weight wasn't as heavy. And then you just get a couple handles. So I hope you like this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I think I'm going to get started on the, uh, the chop saw bench soon or the miter saw bench. 
and maybe some other little projects. Plus we still have the ship lap, which I'm still working on. Um, it's just uh, taking a little while. So we'll get that going. Uh, make sure you hit me up on social media. Make sure you leave some comments. Hopefully this was a fun project. We got a lot more of these coming up, so this will be fun. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.